you got to go to the opening for a second year in a row, but you were uh, a little bit hampered by injury and not able to perform. Uh, what was your experience outside of that? What did, you know, did you get to, to bond with some of the guys and what did you, uh, what did you get to do this time that you didn't get to do last time? Um, I really got to sit back and kind of enjoy the experience to the fullest. Um, I mean, it's a great camp. The best people in the nation are there. Um, some of the top coaches are there. Um, you know, the media gets a good glimpse of what we do there. Um, so I think it's really a great camp. Um, it's def obviously everything that a high school player would want. Um, if you're being a high school recruit, going to the opening is the top 166 kids in the nation. Um, I think that's everything that they would want. Now you're part of uh, Team Hyper Cool, uh, so you're still surrounded by a lot of those those guys. A lot of them are <coughs> were either local guys or guys committed to uh, one of the local schools here. Uh, were you able to develop a, a bond that you might not have had before? And then on top of that, you also got to be on the same in the same group as Dylan McCaffrey, who's someone you said you had a relationship with before. So what what was that uh, like for you? Uh, really, just seven on seven teams. You're gonna bond with your team regardless um, who's on your team, who's the leader of your team, where wherever your teammates are from. You're gonna bond because you all guys, you guys want to win. Um, that's what we wanted to do. Team Hypercool. We wanted to make it to the championship and win the championship. Um, you know, we we didn't get it, but uh, I mean, I, I enjoyed those guys. Had fun. Really had a lot of fun. Now. You're, you just uh, came also back from not too long after that. Michigan had their their barbecue, and uh, a lot of you, a lot of uh, your teammates, you and your teammates, uh, and some of those people that you were playing with at the opening were at the were at the barbecue. What was that experience like uh, being at you know, at the school for for this? And was it like a spectacle? Did you enjoy the the event? Uh, it was a pretty good, nice event. Um, I really liked it. I really liked the way they had it set up this year. Um, having it in a big house was another bonus. A lot of the players were out there. I got to um, connect with some of the guys that I already know. Jordan Lewis, David Dawson, Lano Hill, Lavert Hill. All those guys went here at Cast Tech. So, so I got to connect with those guys. Now back to Cast Tech real quick, because you, you're, you're opening up against Oak Park in a couple of days. What are you looking forward to in that game? And, uh, and do you have any personal expectations going into the game? Uh, not really any personal expectations. I have a team expectation is to get a W. However that may be, whatever uh, my role in that game is, um, I just hope to contribute for the team and have a great time with my brothers. How do you approach having, you know, being in, in what's considered to be a championship run? You have a team that's built for that right now. How do you go into the season with that? Like, what's your, what's your mindset as you prepare? Uh, we just got to stay focused, stay motivated, um, and have fun when we're doing it. And with the your season beginning, college season's also beginning as well. So that said, are there any any games that you're looking forward to checking out, uh, whether it be unofficially? And have you have you started to kind of start to narrow down into who your official visits might be? Uh, not really, not at this point. No. Do you have an idea of when you're going to start thinking about your official visits? Uh, maybe after this first game, I'll have some time between. After Saturday and before school to kind of put that together. But right now I'm just worried about this first game.